Good morning, everyone. Um, I am so, so excited to be, but wait, is that not a parking space? Surely that's a parking space, no? Yeah. Or is it just a gap? Don't I don't know. know. I feel like that's a parking space, by the way. Yeah, I don't really see I would, it. I would park there. Um, anyways, good morning, everyone. I am so excited to be vlogging today. You have absolutely no idea. I've been saying for the last few vlogs how, how I'm going to be getting ready for Christmas so early this year and how I want to make my house more Christmassy than ever. And so far, I've done absolutely absolutely nothing. I've bought so many Christmas decorations. However, I haven't even got my Christmas tree yet. Saying that, I have one Christmas tree, but I really, really would love two Christmas trees. And the Christmas tree I have, I can't have downstairs because it doesn't go with my Christmas decorations as it is a white Christmas tree. I thought I ordered my Christmas tree the other day. And basically my plan was to put up my tree of my boyfriend, but it didn't come in time because turns out I hadn't even paid for it. So I didn't actually buy my Christmas tree, which is, I just don't know how I did that. Anyways, cut long story short. So we've decided that today, as we're together, we're actually going to go and get a real Christmas tree. So this is going to be my first ever real Christmas tree, which is so exciting. And as you guys have, I'm sure you guys have probably seen, Zoe and Alfie, every single year, they go to this place to go and get their Christmas tree called Wilderness Wood. And basically you can go there and like cut down your own Christmas tree. And it's just so Christmassy and magical. And I've always, always wanted to go. And so that's where we're going to go. It's not very far from where I live. So we're going to drive there, go and get a tree. We're we're actually going to cut our own tree however i didn't quite realize that like literally it was just going to be me and lewis like i kind of thought that someone else was going to be there but i was on the phone to the woman and she was like yeah so just like bring your own saw and i was a bit like oh Okay, so we might be cutting our own tree, but we also might just be getting like a pre-cut tree. We're not like completely sure yet. But nonetheless, so excited to go and get my first real Christmas tree. And yeah, we're going to spend the day decorating it. It's going to be really cute. Before that, we're going to go and get some breakfast. So we're just going to go to Bill's now. And then basically Christmas music the entire way. Very excited. Yeah, I actually think we're as excited as each other. So can't wait. Should be good. So fun fact, this Bill's was the first Bill's ever created. Um, and the guy that actually invented Bill's actually went to my dad's school. And yeah, this was the first one, which is so cute. So. Welcome to Bill's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got scrambled eggs on toast with beans. So Lewis and I both hate, both hate chives. What are you doing? Can't cut through the butter. What are you doing? We both hate chives. Like every single time we forget to take them off, but like to the point where I literally could not have one of those. We will both sit and pick everyone off. And then Lewis got, well, the same, but with sausage, potato, and halloumi. So, really healthy. yeah, really healthy. Yeah, love it. Christmas music now. That's 25 minutes. goodness this place is so cute there's just little kids running around as well and I just oh my god I'm so excited to do this with little kids one day but it's just so cute we don't have an absolute clue what we're doing or where we're going by the way you can guess the height of this tree for two pounds what do you win if you guess it right the tree maybe I don't know <laughs> I mean I'd, I'd take that tree yeah now I'm up close it looks bigger than I thought I don't know how high I reckon that is wait you're six you're six three to stand next to it <laughs> def o w Maybe it's like 12 and a half foot. Oh, it's absolutely huge. So we're in the field where you cut your own tree and um, Lewis keeps running off going like, oh my God, this one's perfect, this one's perfect. But we can't get any unless they have an orange tag and none of them have orange tags because they're all reserved. So this is why I don't think we're going to be able to cut our own one. But this one really would have been perfect. Oh, look at this one. Is it actually better? Oh my god, there actually isn't a tag. Maybe we can get this one because there isn't a tag. And that's probably, I mean, it's a bit smaller than we wanted, but that's probably that's probably like seven foot though. And it's actually bushy. Oof. Oh, that's actually, that's actually, be that's exactly what we want. Surely. It looks bushy enough, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks, it looks way better than the ones we were just looking at. Like, that actually looks really good, but then there's that one. Should we have a look at that one too? Somehow. And this one. The thing is, we don't want nine foot. Is that nine foot? Does it say? Or does it say eight foot? But then, look, we can cut off that bit at the top, can't we? Yeah, we can trim it a little bit and stick a... Stick a star on it. Stick you on it. <laughs> oh, look at this cute little gift shop. 
and also the real fire oh my goodness it's so nice i really really want to get like a real fire in my room like the one that i had at um the one that they had in the soho house bedroom i was at the other day and um, my mom said i could get that in my room like i'd be able to make it happen so oh my goodness it's so cute in here oh wow quite it's big isn't it Good tree. That is a good tree. Oh, I love that. Yay. So, current situation. When I tell you this tree just about fits, um, it's in between both of us right now. And there's the tree in the back. Now, mission, get it through the front door. Get it up. We don't know where we're going to put it. But most importantly, we actually are going to have to cut the tree a little bit. Um, also, I never, and I know people think it's really weird, but I've actually never had a star on the top of my Christmas tree. We did have an angel for many years. And then we ended up getting bigger Christmas trees and we never had anything on the top. So we always go for the biggest Christmas tree. And therefore, like, it's touching the ceiling, which I know is exactly what's going to happen at my house because my ceiling downstairs is, like, very, very, small is that the right word yeah um my ceilings are very low so we're like really pushing the boat with an eight foot christmas tree but we're gonna make it happen we just might not be having a star on top it's just sad but it's fine okay so step one we are removing the table step one step one that was pretty fine but it doesn't actually fit prop like it doesn't hold our tree up it's not strong enough there we go guys my mom is literally obsessed with gingerbread men like so badly one year all she asked for was a giant gingerbread man and no one got her it and it was the one thing she wanted more than anything and she was gutted i just went in the garden center and i've just seen this so i'm about to make her entire day right we this is like the third place we've gone to every stand we've got basically doesn't fit our tree our tree is too heavy and too big so for our third place trying like our fifth our fifth um stand right we're getting into the evening now we've traveled everywhere we've just had some food and <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me that saw is going to be able to do it. Yeah. Surely. Um, Lewis has just gone to the garden centre and got a saw, as it was, still won't fit in this one that we bought. This was £65. Honestly, I think we spent about 150 quid on, um, what are they called? A tree holder? <laughs> 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 What's it called? Uh, I don't know. Like a tree base. Tree, <laughs> tree holder. I don't know myself, a tree so holder. Funny. So, anyways, yeah. Now we're having to slice it. Are you not just going to cut like that that much off at the end? Oh, I'm not just going to let him do his thing. So I don't have a clue. Bloody heart, Effie. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? Fair play, Do what? how much I actually need a tan. I just wiped off my makeup, got into my pajamas. My body is so tan, but my face is just, 
wow, I really, really need to fake tan my face. I just don't really like fake tan in my face because I feel like it just gives me spots. But Lewis has now left. He's actually gone home um, as he's got training early in the morning. I'm actually seeing him tomorrow, but um, he couldn't stay because otherwise, basically if he stayed at mine, he'd have to leave at half past four in the morning, which is not really it. So he's going to basically stay at his like training grounds. So anyways, he's left. But honestly had the best day ever. Like I feel like it's genuinely a day that I won't forget for like the rest of my life because it's the first time that I actually got to go and like collect my own collect pick my own real Christmas tree and yeah honestly just had the best day I actually feel like I didn't really vlog that much um because to be honest I feel like we were just enjoying ourselves too much and in the moment that I kind of just kept forgetting to vlog but also saying that it literally took like seven hours to put up the tree I'm not even lying we did not finish the tree Lewis and I it took literally seven hours because we could not get a base for the tree to go on I've learned a lot from having my very first real Christmas tree. They're a lot harder than just getting a fake one. But yeah, it really did have the best day ever. And it was just, it was just so nice. It's the first day that's really felt like, I don't know, like Christmassy as well, which is really nice. So really, really enjoyed myself. Do need to finish the tree though. I started doing the lights, I've done half the lights. I've left it with half the lights on downstairs. Well, not on, but I've left literally yeah, half the lights, not literally on, if you get what I'm saying. But I, I've realized I'm terrible at lights. I don't enjoy it. I feel like I can't make it look good. It looks so messy. So I'm actually gonna need my mom's help to help me finish the rest of the tree. She's really good at decorating trees and she just, I don't know, she's just good at that sort of thing. I'm really, really not, is what I've learned. Um, and so I feel like as much as Lewis and I did a great job, I need my mom's help when it comes to the decorating. Saying that, we did really wanna decorate, but it just got so late in the end that after seven hours, hours of trying to sort the tree I think we just gave up but it was fun whilst it lasted next time my mum comes over in a couple of days um, I'm actually seeing Lewis tomorrow and I'm going down to his when I come back and I'm with my mum I'm gonna film the rest of the Christmas tree putting the decks on and getting my house all Christmassy yeah I hope you guys enjoyed watching us going to go and get the tree and stuff today and I shall see you when I decorate my Christmas tree nice good morning everyone it literally does not look like the morning because it just looks so dark in here and um, the English weather is giving English weather right now. I mean, we are in December, so that would also be why, but it literally looks like I'm filming in the middle of the day and it well, actually films like, looks like I'm filming at night. It's actually bright and early in the morning. Just went and got my nails done and I feel so Christmassy because I got them red. I actually love having red nails. I went through a stage where I got my nails like four times in a row done red, which is quite adventurous for me because I normally just go with French or like I'll get a little tip, maybe a color, but it'll always be a tip. But I just remember loving these so much. I had them throughout summer and I I thought it's Christmas time, get back on the red nails. The only thing I don't enjoy about red nails is the fact that it doesn't go with everything, but yeah, couldn't resist. So I got these done this morning, and as you can tell, I'm obsessed, and I just totally forgot to bring my vlog camera, but me and mum went and got our nails done together, and my mum also ended up getting the exact same kind of nails. And then on my feet, I just got my little classic French toes, because that I will never switch up. I just love having French toenails. Anyways, 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 good morning. You would have seen me and Lewis actually putting up my Christmas tree, however, never actually finished it because it took us about seven hours to put up which I know is actually crazy but getting a real tree when you've never done it before is actually very hard like I've learned a lot and I've just realized I know this is so bad I've not watered the tree and I've been away for I don't know like a week and I've not watered the, actually no not a week that's a lie I've been away for like four days and I've not watered the tree so I need to water the tree I actually forgot I had to do that because I've never owned a real tree before but my mum's around this morning I went and got our nails done and we're gonna spend the day finishing the tree i mean honestly i hope it doesn't take as long as it did just putting up the tree because yeah we're gonna be here a while but it's gonna be a really nice day mum and i doing the tree together like even doing my outdoor christmas decorations and stuff i spring cleaned my house last night so i could wake up this morning it feel tidy feel fresh um, and then yeah do all the christmas decorations so mum and i are doing that today alongside a bunch of errands and stuff that i need to do but yeah i'm very excited and then later this evening libby's coming over and we think we might do some like Christmassy bits and stuff so yeah just just really happy at the moment and I'm just so happy to just be vlogging honestly like I feel like I'm getting back into like my vlogging routine I do really want to do vlogmas but because I'm not home all the time at the moment because I keep going to stay with my boyfriend's family I I just feel like I'm not gonna not gonna be vlogging every day but I'm vlogging a lot more and I'm just so happy to be vlogging again I've just missed it so 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 much so yes that is today's plan let's go downstairs let's sort this tree out my mum 
mum is like the literal best when it comes to decorating trees. Um, however, this was the inspo pick I was going for and I bought all of these baubles and then I've started doing half the tree. I brought the tree in lights and I've just realized they don't even have any lights on the trees. They just have the candles. And I didn't even think about it. So really, it's not going to look like this. But it's going to be some sort of burgundy tree. I have no idea what. I'm hoping with the help of my mum, it's going to look good. And then in a couple of days as well, all my friends are coming over. We're doing like a big Christmas day like we did last year. Where I'll cook everyone a roast dinner and everything else. And just have like such a cute like Christmas evening. Do secret Santa. And so I really want to get all my dec decorations for the table. Like I want to get burgundy candles. And like just, I don't know. I just wanted to just all match and everything just look really cute. So I'm very, very excited just to finally sort the house out today and just finish off making everything look Christmassy. This is the reality. Yeah guys. Not, no, not ever having a real Christmas tree before. And stuff from but this, this thing that goes round doesn't like split in half and so I can't water the base because this is in the way so I'm having to saw it off and not have one of these I don't know what I'm going to do because the base is not, not pretty I don't even know what saw that is, what even is that? I don't know, it's the only saw we Just please get. mind your fingers and toes Mum, thank you <laughs> She's only saying it now because the camera's on oh, before yeah. she's like, get it done oh, I'm not going up the A&E today <laughs> Right, so we've had to get rid of the, what is this actually even called? I don't know, but it's, it's her huh? tree skirt. The tree skirt is no more. Um, I put a rug there instead because every day I'm gonna have to water the tree. I know it sounds stupid, but I genuinely didn't even remember that I had to do that. So mum, also the days that I'm not here, she's gonna have to come over and water my tree for me every single day. That thing holds 4.5 liters of water and my tree is massive. But the lights are on, they're a bit chaotic because I did the bottom and mum's telling me that I put too much lights on them. But, too many, but we are now about to attempt. What we're attempting, basically putting the balls on in like sections. I can't really explain it. Basically this picture without the candles. So let's see how this is gonna go. Okay, so what I've gathered is that my tree is definitely, although my tree is amazing, it's not bushy enough to actually do what I want to do, but we are gonna do like little clumps. So we're gonna have like little sections of different sizes in like little areas. And I do think it will look amazing once it's done. These balls are huge and I think they're so nice. Where are they from again, these ones? Oh, they, were they for the garden? Oh yeah, they were from the garden centre. How amazing! I'm they're so like excited. And they're actually they're plastic, so if you drop them, don't smash. Don't smash. Because I opened another one and literally like within seconds I smashed it, so that's good. But yeah, also these suede ones. I just love these suede ones as well. Actually, they're velvet. Isn't velvet and suede the same thing? Mum keeps telling me off for calling it suede. <laughs> comes the big reveal although the tree looks wonky and i'm pretty sure it's wonky just because it's a real tree well the thing is i think the tree's straight but it's just not perfect and we're used to a perfect tree but i think it's perfect because it's real and the fact that i've went and got my first tree is perfect but anyways <laughs> about to reveal to you the big reveal of the tree not how we thought it was going to be but i absolutely love it ready it's only taken about a week to get it done in three two one Ta -da! oh my goodness i love it so much i think it is so cute i honestly don't think the camera does it any justice whatsoever like in real life i think it is just so stunning like when you look up close and you see all the acorns and stuff and like the bunches i just think the attention to detail that my mum and I put in with this tree. Um, I just love it so much. And I love all of these ball balls. And I'm actually so glad that I went for burgundy. We were gonna mix burgundy and red at one point, but I just really thought it wouldn't look. I don't know, I wanted to look I wanted it to look like classy, and I feel like that's what it's giving. But like I said, it's not really it's not really showing that like on here. It looks better in real life. But anyways, I love it so much. Haven't like done this rug up, but I'm just gonna have to have this little rug that I got for my tree upstairs rather than the oh my god, what's that thing called again? The tree skirt, yes. Yeah, so 
so we're gonna have to have a blanket instead. Oh look, I got this little sleigh. And so we filled it up with the ball balls and little acorns. Um, and yeah, I think once I have like presents and stuff under the tree, it's gonna look stunning. So love that. Next up, we've got the, did you put this round here like this, mum? Did you put the wreath round this pot? She looks kind of cute. I don't know if she's done that on purpose, but actually it looks kind of cute. But need to put the wreaths up. Just putting these little ones up. I'm gonna put one either side of the fireplace. I bought three of these and I think they're so cute. Look how nice it looks by the fireplace. And then I've got one on the window here. And then, yeah, we're gonna put one this side as well. And then I also got these little burgundy trees, which I love also. Yeah. 